ago in response to my beautiful little dog named Annie, who was an English Springer Spaniel who contracted cancer in her left front leg. Annie had to have that leg removed, and while I was watching her recover, I wrote my first children's book called Annie Loses Her Leg But Finds Her Way. And that started a cascade of six more books um, and many more English Springer Spaniels to write about. Annie Loses Her Leg But Finds Her Way, the first in the Max and Annie series, written by Sandra Phillipson and illustrated by Robert Tackage, received so much recognition that eventually it was turned into a film, Miracle Dogs. Produced by Tag Family Entertainment of Hollywood and starring the real-life characters Phillipson's dogs, Max and Annie, it premiered in Cleveland in December of 2002. As of 2009, Miracle Dogs was still being aired on Animal Planet and other various cable channels. I created Chagrin River Publishing to be responsive uh, to children, to teachers, to parents. Uh, in all of our products, we are designing them specifically for use in the schools as well as home. Uh, we like to encourage writing, reading, uh, and in each of the books, there you'll find a section for writing. Um, you'll find a section for vocabulary development. Uh, you'll find sections on rhyming fun and kinds of educational applications to the stories. Uh, so Chagrin River Publishing does have, um, is responsive to the voice of kids and also to parents, teachers, and children's librarians. illustrated by Robert Tackage, a wonderful artist who lived here in Chagrin Falls. By 2005, however, we have lost both Robert and Annie, and we had to look um, for a new illustrator to try to capture the stories of these wonderful dogs. Um, the new illustrator is Jenny Campbell, and Jenny is a specialist at um, capturing the emotion and um, the wonderful spirit of these animals. And so Jenny has illustrated Max's Rules at Forever Home and our brand new book, All These Monsters and Other Stories. books aren't just quality children's books. They are charming and original literacy adventures that enhance children's creativity, writing, and reading skills through wonderful storytelling and illustrations. The Max and Annie books, complemented with one of Miss Phillipson's educational programs, provides children a unique and invaluable learning experience. Going into schools and working with children from all backgrounds, Miss Phillipson spends hours with kids teaching them about writing and creativity, using her books as well as her own vast education in reading and literacy. Approximately 200,000 children have participated in these programs. The responses from children, teachers, media specialists, and parents has been overwhelmingly positive. The time and effort these students put into the preparation of Ms. Phillipson's visits 
are incredible and touching, and it's evident by their overwhelming enthusiasm that Miss Philipson, her dogs, and the Max and Annie books excel in making a difference in children's lives. Okay, a big part of the Max and Annie project is our school visits. Um, we have visited over 437 schools um, in the Midwest and the environment. We also visit hospitals um, and try to, and libraries, and we try to promote literacy in our school programs. Uh, the, the dogs are registered therapy dogs by Therapy Dog International, and they have um, visited countless schools, libraries, bookstores, and other public venues. Currently, the dogs are doing therapy work at the Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital here in Cleveland. Okay. Tack is a beautiful dog who is incredibly lovable and friendly. He's the good boy of the bunch, never getting into any trouble, and always trying to be perfect. Tack is the most dapper of dogs you could ever meet. Trini was adopted from English Springer Spaniel Rescue in honor of Annie. Despite being a congenital amputee, she is very active and loves to play. She has such great courage and spirit and undoubtedly walks in the footsteps of Annie, who is also lively and loving. Ollie is the newest member of the family and also the most feisty. He has an overactive imagination, finding fault and fear with most household objects seeming to harm any of those he loves. Ollie is fiercely loyal and perfectly lovable. Ollie's Monsters and Other Stories is the seventh book in the Max and Annie series and is scheduled to come out by Christmas 2009. In this wonderful new addition to the Max and Annie series, readers will enter Ollie's wild imagination, where he sees the most ordinary of household objects as terrifying monsters lurking in every corner of the house, yard, and schools where he lives, plays, and visits. After battling imaginary monsters, readers join the rest of the canine crew to help Trini overcome her worries, watch Tack save a trapped sibling, and listen to Max provide helpful advice on planning successful escapes from school. Complete with wonderfully animated illustrations, this newest book from Chagrin River Publishing will make you laugh and encourage you to use your imagination.